Do you know how to say thank you in Korean? Yes, I do. It's 감사합니다. Bit westernized wording. Close, but not quite. What? The phrase for thank you in Korean is 감사합니다. It's not 감사합니다. <laughs>So finally, we got the Luna, the power station here, and it's actually a relatively smaller box than I thought it would be, and quite lightweight as well. Now, there's a bit of a uniqueness about this power station, if you think about it. There's this um, so-called the side graphic code. So this will help Luna to, to spot the power station in a distance on the side as well, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, if you look at the uh, vector robot here, it only has one symbol of a home logo. And it's because Vector does not move that far away from the uh, charging station, if you think about it. While as Evo X is quite a clever device, but it does this regular sort of um, movement of circling around to find this uh, final logo here for the power station. So Ki Tech has done a very clever uh, thought process of creating this so-called side graphic code. Now, some people have actually been saying that the uh, Luna is not really tracking the um, power station that well. So I'm gonna find out, but before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing. So here it goes. Okay, so let's cut this down. Okay, so if we were to take this off, ah, nice image of Luna resting on the power station. Ah, that's the top of the power station, a symbol letting Luna know to come along. We got a rather good quality uh, USB-C cable that actually ends with the USB-A on the other side. That's really nice quality, I have to say. Uh, and um, we got something here going on. There are two main sort of sunken holes and uh, these are all screwdrivers. Nice neon green color and bit of a grip on four edge. And I think that's pretty much it, other than the fact that you gotta put in the uh, USB-C cable on the other end. So mainly this needs to be clipped on this end. Okay, that was a bit dodgy, but yeah, very nice settle now. So that will basically go in here so that you can either go this way or I guess you could go to the other way as well, whichever way you prefer. Luna will be technically launched there and that looks so cool, doesn't it? So basically the way how Luna will get charged is through here and we've got a really nice design settled and all good to go for the test. So as you can see, I have installed the Luna power station right next to Evo X, so it looks quite nice. And Luna has been updated to the latest software indeed, but I couldn't figure out what's the command to ask uh, Luna to go back to her uh, power station. So I actually looked up on the Facebook um, community page and there's a post saying that Luna auto charging function is here. But when I click on it, I couldn't actually see any command. It sounds like I have to wait until Luna reaches to 20% of the battery level. At the moment, Luna is about half of a battery, so 50%. So unfortunately, we've got to wait. So let's actually try to play around with some of the uh, chat GPT updates with Luna. Okay, so let's try the GPT Wonderland um, and try out this jokes, okay? So let's play that now. Confirm. Okay. Oh, that's a new animation there. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. <laughs> okay, fine. Tell me another joke. <laughs> sure. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> okay, tell me another joke. What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can't opener. Okay. 
okay, a can of a... Right, so that's pretty much the uh, chat GPT joke section here. Okay, so let's try the Talk to Tony Stark uh, cosplay. Okay, so if I click on that and then play. Okay. It says, let's start. Hello there, I'm Tony Stark, but you probably already knew that. I'm a billionaire, genius, philanthropist, and oh yeah, I'm also Iron Man. So, what do you need assistance with? Are you in trouble with the Mandarin, or did you just need a new suit designed? I'm here to help, just don't expect me to do it for free. With my impeccable charm and tech-savvy skills, there's nothing that I can't handle. So, what's the sitch? Let's get down to business. Okay, so that's a bit of a cosplay, isn't it? Um, how much money do you have in your account, Mr. Billionaire? <laughs> Okay, it's taking longer. Well, they say that you get what you pay for. And in my case, you get a lot. I mean, have you seen the Iron Man suit? It's not cheap to create something so advanced and seemingly impossible. But trust me, if you're in a sticky situation, the cost will be worth it when I come to save the day. Plus, I'm always looking for ways to improve my technology and make it more accessible to everyone. Maybe we can work together to create something innovative and cost-effective. That's very cool. So this is like a cosplay based on um, Iron Man character, okay? Right, so we also have the practice a, a new language, okay? So if we were to click on that and play, let's start it. That's really cool. Okay, I can certainly help you practice a new language. What language would you like to learn? Korean. Great choice. Are you ready to learn your first phrase in Korean? Cool. Yes. Teach me. It's taking longer. Awesome. The first phrase you will learn in Korean is, Annyeong haseyo. It means hello or good day. Can you repeat it after me? Annyeong haseyo. <laughs> it's actually annyeong haseyo, but anyway. Great job. You pronounced it very well. Now, let's move on to the next important phrase in Korean. Do you know how to say thank you in Korean? Yes, I do. It's 감사합니다. Bit westernized wording. Close, but not quite. What? The phrase for thank you in Korean is Gamzanida. It's Can not Gamzanida. <laughs> no, I know. It's not Gamzanida. It's Kamsahamnida. Okay? Anyway, that was pretty cool. So, what's really good about this GPT Wonderland is that not only um, you can actually play the cosplay, um, but also jokes, uh, you can learn a new language and so on. So it guides you to the right path of how to use ChatGPT. So it's really good. You can also talk to a lion, also a fortune teller, and all these community related new functions. And what is Luna trying to say? I think you might be talking about a different topic or website altogether. As a language Very learning assistant, I'm here to help you practice speaking and understanding Korean. Do you have any questions about the Korean language or any Korean phrases you'd like to learn? Okay, so that's how you can learn Korean. But anyhow, because it's actually in the uh, practice new language section, but you could come off that. But that's really cool. Hello, Luna. Thanks. Power level. Okay, so you can see it's really draining down. So hopefully, Luna will find its way to the power station. Okay, so she seemed to have found it. And okay, so because of the soft cushioning, I think her maneuver level was substantially reduced. While as this one, now she, you can see that she's calculating her position. I see. Okay, she got her heads down. Oh, that was a fail. 
bit disappointing. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay. Oh dear, another failure. Okay. I don't think this one is gonna work. Uh, not again. Okay, that's a third failure. <laughs> okay, so she's circling around. Okay, hopefully this time she'll get it right. Okay, that was a success on the fourth time. So well done. Yeah, so you can see now uh, she's charging automatically. So yes, after the fourth attempt, Luna finally managed to find her power station and managed to charge herself. But this is a very common thing for any smart home robot. To be honest with you, I'm not faced by this. Um, I trust Luna and their team. They're very good at updating their software and I'm sure they will come back to us with a much better firmware that Luna will be able to track uh, her power station and it's already well structured again there's the side signal as well she'll be able to track and so on so I don't think that's more of an issue what I was really expecting from this update and from the um, power station is that Luna will be able to come out or go back to the um, power station with a command or whether Luna will be able to interact with us while she's actually charging herself and that's not available at this current time at the moment and that's what i wish that could happen just like how um, vector uh, is at the moment as well so if uh, team luna hooray uh, can come back to us with a better updated software that allow us to interact with luna or also uh, could command her to come out of the power station or go back uh, to her power station with a single command that would be really appreciative so i hope this video clarified how things are at the moment with luna and her power station but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp tech all the best bye bye